guys welcome back to my channel i'm natalie today's video as you can tell by the face mask is going to be a clean video or a cleaning video organizing video decluttering video with the new year coming up one of my goals is definitely to declutter the most i can and start in different areas so today's video i'm going to be starting in my kitchen and decluttering the entire kitchen organizing it and showing you guys how i personally do it and hopefully you guys get inspired to declutter and clean for 2020 so let's get started all right so starting with my pantry as you guys know i don't use it as my pantry i use it as my linen closet which is a total mess and as well as storing some extra products new products and then my christmas stuff all the way in the bottom so I'm going to do my best to give this a total transformation. I've gotten some organizing stuff, which I hope does the trick. So let's get to it. All right, so I'm first going to start off by getting everything out of the closet and putting it in the living room. And this is what the mess looks like. So my main focus is basically to divide or separate all of the products by section or category. So hair products, skincare, body products, etc. So right now I'm just working on hair products. So just putting the shampoos and conditioners together, the hairsprays on the other side, and so on and so forth. And by the way, as I'm organizing and putting things into its own little category, I'm also decluttering and putting things aside to get rid of. Now to organize, I'm going to be using these turntables that I got from Marshalls and I'll be using these for almost all of the cabinets. I'll be linking some from Amazon in case you guys don't find one from your local Marshalls. But right now I'm just removing the sticker and using Goo Gone to remove it. And then just organizing everything by category. So right here I'm just going to be adding my shampoos and conditioners, a different one for cleansers, another one for body products like body wash, creams, so on and so forth. Moving on to my bed, which is where I have all the linen that I had inside of that closet. So my blankets and towels, this I'll be definitely downsizing and decluttering and just basically staying with the things that I really, really want. And then in between the sheets, I'll be adding downy sheets just because you guys know that it's one of my favorite hacks when it comes to storing things. organize my microfiber towels i'm going to be organizing them in this magazine holder that i got from ikea which i think it's a great hack when it comes to organizing small items like these in case you guys want to do the same and finally just putting things back inside of the closet My blankets and robes I ended up organizing in these little bins that I got from Walmart which I'll try my best to link down below for you guys. 
All right, so this is what the closet ended up looking like. I am obsessed with it. And these turntables, you guys, are a game changer, especially to organize products like these for me whenever I need to like grab a new one. It's just surreal and so perfect. I'm going to show you guys different ways to also organize using the turntables, but this is what it turned out like. And for my hair dyes, I ended up putting them in these little shelves. And then above, I have my candles. And now just putting my like mop and Swiffer and stuff like that right here. All right, so let's move on onto organizing the cabinets. This is what we're working with. This one in particular is not that bad, but the next few are going to blow your mind. This one out of all my cabinets is the only one that's organized, but I mean, how many wine glasses does a girl really need when she lives alone? You know what I mean? All right, so first things first is basically just getting everything out of the cabinets and I'm going to start off by section. So this is the area that I'm going to be focusing on. And after I get everything out, I'll be cleaning each of these shelves. And then just organizing it as I want. There's no science to this one in particular since it's just basically my appliances for like the magic bullet, toaster, and stuff like that. Alright, so for this one, again, just taking everything out and starting fresh and also getting rid of things that are expired. You guys, you have no idea how many of these were expired, so just make sure you read the expiration label. back at it again with my turntables i told you guys i am obsessed with these i feel like i got like 10 of these and i just keep on using them so i'm going to be organizing all the cans in this one and then all my spices in this little white rack that i got from family dollar Another great thing to use when it comes to organizing is using these clear jars. I personally use them either for these spices or also coffee and sugar. This one again doesn't really need much help. I'm just moving things around and making them a little bit more perfect, you could say. And then the one next to it, it's basically my medicine cabinet slash miscellaneous things. Like I have computer stuff, camera stuff, and just like super random things. So again, just starting from scratch and getting everything out. All right, so the medicine I actually already had in my little turntable a long time ago, but I decided to get everything out and reorganize everything and also just declutter the items that are either expired or I just don't need. Oh. 
Another organizer that I highly recommend are these wine or bottle organizers that I got from Amazon. Obsessed with them and it honestly comes so in handy. Moving on to my cleaning and detergent cabinet. This one is such a mess, so I'm going to be getting everything out and also separating things into its own little category and getting rid of items that I don't necessarily need anymore or are just like too old. that I'll be using for this one are from Ikea which I feel like are also great to organize just any cabinet in general so really really recommend these super affordable and really sturdy and of course my turntables you know I have to so in this one I'm going to be adding backup and repeats of just like little things that I need and then the one to the left are also going to be backups of my some of my detergents that I have doubles of and then the first one of the turning tables is going to be my detergents and then the other one's going to be all my current cleaning supplies. So my last one are my pots and pans, which is one that I've been neglecting for a really long time. So let's get to it, get everything out and then clean the surface and then put a new little like mat situation, which I'll show you guys in a few. So this is a little mat that I got from Ikea, which I'll be adding it to the surface of this cabinet in particular. You can add it to all of the drawers and cabinets if you want, and it's a great quality one. And then this little organizer is for the pots and pans that I got from Marshalls, and then I have another one for the lids. you guys so this is the finished look of all of the drawers and my kitchen organizing video i hope you guys enjoyed found some helpful tips thank you so much for watching and let's get to organizing 2020 have a great one and see you next time